Hi everyone, so I did want to do a mid-May collective reading, um, especially since retrograde is going to be almost over. I believe it's like the 14th around that. I know there still is a little bit of a shadow period that is going to be like dwindling out. Um, I now am open for personal readings as well, so I will be leaving everything in the description box. Um, all my social media, so follow me on Instagram, I have a TikTok, um, and all that. Um, I did want to make an Instagram just so if I want to go on live or I can kind of chit chat a little bit with you guys. Um, I'm a goofball. I love posting like funny tarot stuff, um, tarot cards of the day, certain decks, kind of stuff like that. Um, <laughs> and it's funny because people think that like tarot has to be like all serious, like, you know, like, oh my god, like so poker face, so like not laid back, it's all like black magic or whatever stereotypes people have and you know i only wear black all day and um i can't laugh certain stuff like that you get what i mean like literally like the witches and like the disney movies type thing like they have a little pot and they're just like evil and you know what i mean so i did want to do um the collective reading i wanted to get to know you guys a little bit more interact more with you guys so let's see i am using the the island time wellness deck it's like the love uh little i can't even speak um the love what does that say the love oracle card sorry obviously i need glasses as well which I actually do. So I don't know if you guys need to go get your eyes checked. If you guys do need to go get your eyes checked, go get your eyes checked. I really went to the DMV. And you know how they make you cover one eye and like read the little the little sign and stuff? Tell me why. I could barely see them. I could barely see them. And I was like, damn, I'm fucking blind as hell. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. Um... So yeah, also, please comment down below your fave, like, Starbucks drinks. Um, I've been really into matcha lately. I need, like, an IV bag. Like, it's an addiction. <laughs> so if you guys do want to um, donate to my matcha little addiction <laughs> or want to buy me a latte i'm gonna leave my cash up as well those are appreciated you guys don't have to um but i know some people were like do you have a cash app um i want to send you however much they can send me um for my matcha because i actually posted it on my instagram and everybody's like oh my god like try this try that um and they were kind of sending me little um little gift cards it was so sweet um so if people i know some people want to that's how that's how they give back um so yeah i'll leave my cash up and all that jazz so let's get into the reading i hope everybody is having such an amazing week this month is flying by like flying by it's crazy i'm just like wait i thought we were in april and if you really think about it june's coming summer's coming summer's gonna be so exciting i'm so excited all right anyways you're like uh get to the reading girl get to the reading so um so this is what i'm getting so i feel like you were in a really bad karmic relationship that you really had to learn lessons i tell everybody every person that you meet you do have to learn a lesson with them even if it's like the worst um relationship you've ever had like for me for example um my first real boyfriend was crazy and he taught me a lot of things not more of um like relationship things more of certain things that i won't put up with certain things that i do not like so, like the type of ideal man that i actually really want around my family around my kids um when i do have kids i don't have kids but like around um like my nephews and my nieces like i don't want a little troll around 
like the kids like that you know imagine just not like you know everyone has their own cup of tea but i feel like collectively we are learning lessons when it comes to love um twin flames are not supposed to be in your life forever i feel like twin flames also teach you a lot of things about yourself um and you know it's crazy like twin flames give you so much passion they give you so much passion that you feel like you can't even breathe, you know? Like, if they're not talking to you, you need to go to the hospital because you're gonna, you need an oxygen mask type thing. Um, but I feel like with this karmic relationship, this person really stabbed you in the back. Like, truly stabbed you in the back. Um, you've never had pain like this before, ever. And it just, it's going to make you grow. So I feel like if you are going through the pain right now, you're, it's going to get better. Time heals literally everything. And you're just like, um, I don't want to freaking hear that. It's true. You leaving this person or you um, leave, uh, leaving this, this separation. Not separation. I don't know what I'm saying. You leaving this person and this, you know, situation. Not separation. Situation. Um, is going to help you um open doors to better things it may not look like it for right now um maybe you're just really upset and you didn't want to break up with them because they're karmic and karmics they they basically don't make you want to go anywhere um but i feel like you're very intuitive but you were dealing with a narcissist and your intuition was kind of like knocking on the door and being like dude like this person's no good for you leave them every cheating sign every betrayal sign it would be in your face and you would still ignore it so you're just gonna be shedding a new layer of yourself maybe you're gonna be jumping into my spirit your spiritualness for example me um i also did want to do a story time actually about this because um when i was with this person uh my intuition was kicking in but i thought i was like tripping like straight up so i feel like with a girl with the snake i can resonate because i was dealing with a really bad narcissist and my intuition was letting me know and letting me know like cheating betrayal it was in my face so maybe you guys are even having situations where it's in your face like like you let's like read it and weep maybe you're even going through their phone and you're still like ain't no way ain't no way <laughs> so spirit god the ancestors did not want you with this person this you and this person broke up for a reason you know don't fight it um obviously you guys can do whatever you guys want but the advice card is don't go back <laughs> like don't go back basically right um but also with the card i feel like crying i feel like crying so maybe you guys need to cry um I'm, I don't, I'm pretty sure you guys know this, but besides me being a tarot reader, I am also a healer um, with, like, cleanses and stuff like that. Um, and I'm an empath, so I can feel your guys' energies. Like, when I'm doing a reading, I, I know if you want to cry. Like, I can feel the emotion with everything. And it's such a crazy feeling sometimes because I'd be freaking people out. And then I'm just like, um, did you just cry before <laughs> I called you? And they're like, yeah, like, how do you know? Or like, maybe they were holding in their tears. And, you know, I started crying and they're just like, that's so crazy because I've been wanting to cry, but I really just wanted to be strong. Um, but yeah. So I feel like right now time is the only thing that's on your on your side. You know, time heals everything, even broken hearts. I don't know if you guys ever heard that that saying. Also, the saying of "nadine se muere de amor," which means I'll say it in English, um, "no one dies of love," which is crazy because it feels like you're dying, but you're truly not. Um, it's it's crazy, huh? Like, you can fall in love and, like, get over that person. And then you fall in love again. Like, that shit's wild to me. It's just like, damn. You know? But I feel like time is going to heal everything. You know, time needed... To, this needed to happen. This person didn't value you as a person. You guys weren't going anywhere. It was on a hamster wheel. This person was a runner. One day they would be, like, you know, love bombing you, telling that they loved you. And they only wanted to be with you. And the next thing you know, like, the weekend came and they were, like, sleeping with someone else. It's just like, no, I don't want that. Like, I don't want you only d Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday because Friday is technically the weekend for them. 
I want you a Sunday type of day. Have you guys ever heard that song? That song came to my head right now. Sunday type of day. Um, I'll find a song and I'll leave it in the description box. But that's the type of love you want, you know? You're tired of running um, from... You're tired of even dealing with people that don't value you, you know? Stop dealing with people on the first date. The first couple dates already know if this person is worth it. If you don't even get along with this person or you guys don't have anything in common, obviously people are shy when you go on a date. I'm very shy, so I'm not I'm not bashing anyone for being shy or not opening up like the third date, you know? But if this person doesn't even try or like really try to have a conversation with you, the door, straight up. You know, don't be putting up with anybody's shit at all. You know, let them meet you halfway. Let, let yourself be loved, but also know your value and you value them as a person. You know, don't just expect them to give you everything, you know? And I feel like you recently just kind of broke up with this person or you had this separation with this person and you're kind of barely going, you're jumping back into um, the single life. Um, maybe you're even looking at new, um, I can't even speak. Uh, maybe you're even looking at old pictures. Maybe you're even cleaning out like the memories that you guys had and it's making you really sad. But it also it's like a bittersweet moment. Maybe this person's still calling for you, especially with retrograde, kind of looking for you still. You're just like, nah, bro. Nah, like I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. You know, you're putting it to rest. You have to. Because this person did not want to see you shine. This person wanted to see you in the gutter. And this is why. Because you're supposed to actually be something beautiful in life. And this person was just holding you holding you back, holding you down, bringing you down. This person would say some shit and you'd be like, what the hell? Like, why would you even say that, you know? Especially with the coffin card. New beginnings are going to be having new growth, new change. The way you even look, your appearance. People are going to be so jealous. So much envy around you as well. You know, you're going to be letting go of friends that no longer serve you. People that no longer serve you. You're going to be changing your habits. Maybe you're even losing a lot of weight. You're going to start going to the gym. Um, because that was... That is what's going to keep you mentally okay. You working on yourself. You being happy with yourself. Self-love, self-care is really needed. Um, be kind to yourself, you know. Don't beat yourself up because you feel a type of way today. Or you ate a donut or whatever it is. Like, be kind to yourself, you know. Love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, who the hell is going to love you? Who the hell is going to love you? Hmm? No one. No one. <laughs> But I feel like the bad and the worst has already, like, left. You know, this retrograde literally brought the tower, or even before retrograde, or even during retrograde, or maybe you're even going through this right now, really brought so much chaos, so much, like, disaster. Like, you want, it was, like, work, love, and home hit you all in three. Just literally, like, socked you in the face. Um... But leave in the comments how, how retrograde cheated you, treated you. Maybe you got cheated on because I said cheated you. Um, maybe you got cheated on and you found out. Maybe this, it's been like years and you barely found out that you're getting cheated on. Uh, you know, a marriage was thrown to the trash. So many things happen. So many things happen. And, you know, you can't judge others because it's life, you know. Maybe this had to happen so you actually meet the soulmate. You know, like certain stuff like that. And it hurts. It hurts. But, you know, I'm not here to judge you. You can email me or leave your comments down below how retrograde was cheating you. Treating you. Um, I feel like someone got really bad cheated on and they're depressed. And I'm so sorry that you got cheated, cheated on. That's like the worst feeling ever. Um, but I'm here for you. I'm sending you healing energy. Everything will be okay. Um, but yeah, so let me know down in the comments below how retrograde treated you and what you learned and what you saw during retrograde even. So besides all that, with the palm tree, the passion, I feel like honestly, you're going to get stability, security. You're going to have so much confidence between between you and your partner and you as a person you're gonna grow so much your mentality is gonna change drastically that people are gonna be like yo who the hell is this who the hell is this like the glow is gonna be jumping out of your body people are gonna be like damn i should have you know 
when I had the chance, took her on a date, took him on a date, you're going to be loving yourself, loving yourself. And when you attract self-love, self-value, self-worth, self-awareness, self-everything, um, that's when you start calling in true love, people that actually value you. And you're just like, I don't want to be with anyone right now, Liz. And I get that. And I get that. But I'm just letting you know. You know, when you're ready for love, lo love is going to be knocking on the door. You're already going to have people lined up. <laughs> um, so with the heart, with the key, you know, you're going to be welcoming, welcoming um, new love, meeting the one, opening your heart. It's going to be like a happily ever after, like little Cinderella movies. You're going to have so much passion and chemistry. And you're really going to be getting to know this person. This person's going to love you for you, you know, it's gonna love if you have kids, they're gonna love you and your kids. And the person that betrayed you and cheated on you and didn't value you, they're still gonna be doing the same thing to the next person. You know, let them go. You think that they're gonna be like, oh, all cupcake getting married. Let them get married. Just how they treated you in the beginning, like nothing, and you know, you thought you met the one, same thing. Because this person, people like that never change. Narcissists never change at all. They don't have feelings like that. But that is what I have for you guys for the month of May. So please like, comment, and share. Um, and then, yeah. So I am open for personal readings as well. So I'll leave all my info. Follow me on all my social media. Comment down below your Starbucks drink and how retrograde treated you and yeah i hope you guys have an amazing week